Breast cancer is often associated with older women. However, this incurable disease sometimes can affect younger women as well, with nearly one in seven under the age of 50 to get it. Joining me now with more on a newly approved, approved FDA treatment for younger women are Dr. Joyce O'Shaughnessy and breast cancer patient Helga Torres. And I should mention, it's not incurable, but what we're talking about can be. It's a specific type of breast cancer. Dr. O'Shaughnessy, can you tell us what makes this type of breast Breast cancer and premenopausal breast cancer different than postmenopausal? Yes, of course, women are much younger. They're under, under the age of 50, they're still menstruating. And the breast cancer is more aggressive. It grows faster, larger cancers, and unfortunately tends to metastasize more commonly, meaning spread to the vital organs, the lungs, liver, brain, bones, where unfortunately it's not curable. And so with that spread, can you talk about how there are new treatments in place, new treatment options that work, and what are the potential risks and benefits of new classes of drugs that we're seeing on the market? Yes, even though we don't have a cure, thank goodness there's great strides in treating and controlling the disease for longer periods of time. One new treatment option specifically for the young woman with metastatic breast cancer is Kiss Cali. It's been a group that We've had very few clinical trials for over the last 20 years. This is the largest clinical trial in 20 years for the young woman with metastasized breast cancer. And it's a pill therapy, a well-tolerated pill therapy called Kiskali, combined with stopping the estrogen production from the ovaries with an injection once a month to stop the ovary production in combination with a pill. The Kiskali is put together with a pill called Fomara, which further lowers the estrogen, and Kiskali stops the cell division in the breast cancer, so really knocks it out and puts the disease under prolonged control. Helga, I wanted to ask you specifically, what does it mean to have a new treatment option like Cascali available for younger patients? Oh, it's exciting. Uh, that's, that's what we do. We keep track of what's coming out, what new treatments are available. That way, when one stops working, uh, you have more options. And, uh, can we're always excited to hear when, yep. yep. You're excited to we're, hear when there's... We're always excited to hear, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I didn't, yes, I didn't mean to cut you off, but yes, effects. I wanted to ask you about, you know, being excited to hear that treatment because you were younger when you were diagnosed. Can you sort of talk to us about what happened when you were diagnosed and talking to your loved ones and your, and your children about that diagnosis at the time? Yes, it, it's not easy. Uh, it, I have to be honest. Um, your world is turned upside down. Um, you and it's devastating for you and your family. You're not expecting this. This comes out from nowhere. But uh, with time and when when you start responding to treatments and you're able to to stay stable for a period of time, and uh, you get used to it, you accept it, and uh, you, get, you get hopeful when, when, you have, when you see that there's research and more treatments available to us. Well, you're looking really well now. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay, yes. Uh, on, on treatment for life, because that's how, how metastatic breast cancer works. You, you have to stay on treatment yes. to keep the cancer at bay. So yes, um, We're so I'm, I'm always on treatment, I'm doing chemo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're so appreciative of you being here. I know it's a lot to talk about, especially going through this at a young age. But hearing your story, it helps all of our viewers, as well as hearing from Dr. O'Shaughnessy. I'm, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Where can we go for more you're, information? You're spot on. Perfect, good. Where can we go for more information? Because a lot of people are affected uh, by this disease. Yes, and for the, for the young woman, the premenopausal woman, um, as well as the postmenopausal woman, because Cali is also approved by the FDA for older women with mm. metastasized estrogen-fed breast cancer, it's kisscali.com is the website, K-I-S-Q-A-L-I.com. With the Q. All right, thank you both so much for being here. Very important topic, and we appreciate you being here. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.